the application of calculus and um, especially in cubic graphs is one of the most important areas whereby examiners like uh, bringing questions is this is your mathematics n4 and i just brought this particular question so that i can uh, show you how you could have gone about it it is a previous uh, exam question uh, the question says uh, prove that the coordinates in this case prove that the coordinates of the turning point of y is equal to that are so you already been given it's a good question because they already show you uh, the coordinates which means you just have to work towards this answer so these are the coordinates of the turning point it's a cubic graph so you've got these coordinates and those coordinates respectively and says also determine the points of inflection using the second derivative of that now as i said it is a common question whereby you are applying your your calculus now let us start with the first part whereby we are proving uh in this case we're proving these coordinates and we're proving these coordinates so now whenever you're proving the coordinates you have to use a uh, calculus so we are given in this case uh y is equal to x cubed minus 2x minus 4. now whenever i have to find the coordinates of the turning point the first thing i have to do is to find my dy over dx the first derivative which is equal to 3x and then is 3 minus 1 remember the rules of calculus minus 2 and then 2x symbol becomes 1 and the other one 4 doesn't have an x so it becomes 0 so this becomes 3x squared minus 2 so that is the first part and when you have done that the next thing that you need to do in this case is um to know that at turning point so you can write and say at tp for turning point what we know is dy over dx is equal to zero so that is what you you know that at turning point this is equal to zero so what you have now you can therefore say in this case 3x squared minus 2 is equal to zero therefore you are solving now for x which is 3x squared is equal to 2 now when you do that you are going to have x squared is equal to 2 over 3 now you have to um simplify that which is square root and then you have got square root but the moment you put a square root you must say plus or minus so in this case you are going to say x is equal to plus or minus uh, square root of 2 over 3 so now if you find the plus or minus uh, square root of 2 over 3 if you use a calculator to find it in decimal uh point it will be um as i say it is a square root of fraction 2 over 3 and then you get that press sd there which is 0, 0.8164 if i say shift and round it off to three decimal places press 6 there and it's 3 press sd you can see that it's 0, 0.816 which is what they gave me but remember it's plus or minus now if you look at the two answers the first one is a plus from the original is plus 0, 0.816 and minus 0, 0.816 so you have already managed to prove uh, the first part which is plus or minus 0, 0.816 so with that your next part now is um to prove the y values now the y values you have to go to the original which is y is equal to x cubed minus 2x uh, minus 4 and remember we have got the first value of x when x is equal to uh, let's take the positive 0 comma 816 let's start with the positive one 
and then we are going to have y is equal to it will be 0 comma 816 cubed minus 2 0 comma 816 minus 4 so whenever there is a, a in this case where there is a an x you are substituting the first value and then there you'll be having in this case 0 comma 816 cubed minus 2 into 0 comma 816 and then minus 4 if you do that you're going to get minus 5 comma 0886 now let's check with the first one you can see it matches there which is minus 5 if i say shift setup make it into 6 and 3 decimal places which is minus 5 comma 089 exactly what we're getting there which is minus 5 comma 0 eight nine so you can see now the coordinates that you are proving there it it shows that you have proven that when x is zero comma eight one six uh-huh y is minus five comma zero eight nine remember the question says prove that the coordinates so you have done the first one you can now do the second one and in the second one you are also saying um, now y is equal to where there is an x. Now you are, you are using the negative one, which is minus 0, 0,816 cubed minus 2 minus 0, 0,816 and then minus 4. So that was the second one. And if you use again your calculator, it will give you um, this is negative 0, 0,816, which is cubed, minus, and then 2 into negative 0, 0,816, and then say minus 4 in this case, and then you get, say shift setup. Uh, 6 and press 3 which is negative 2 comma 9 1 1 as you can see again we are having it in this place negative 2 comma 9 1 1 so you you will write then your coordinates as in this case negative 0 comma 8 1 6 is 2 negative 2 comma 9 1 1 so the first part has been proven where it says prove the two coordinates respectively now let us look at the second part it says also determine the points of inflection using the second derivative so now you know that we already have our first derivative which means to find the point of inflection they say we must use our second derivative now if i can just do this here for more space now our second derivative is in this case remember we have dy over dx is equal to 3x squared minus 2 i'm taking it from here which is actually more specifically that so now if i can find my second derivative my second derivative in this case will be d squared y over dx squared which is the second derivative is equal to you derive which is 3 into 2 x 2 minus 1 and then uh, it will be minus 0 in this case which is equal to 6 x so that is the um, second derivative now what you need also to know the point of inflection you say at inflection point At inflection point, you need to know that d squared y over dx squared is equal to 0. Okay? And then at that particular uh, point, so what you need to know is that, in this case, 6x is equal to 0. Therefore, divide by 6, 
in this case x is equal to 0 so when you have got x is equal to 0 you need to find the value of y now you are, you are given that remember y in this case is equal to you have to go back to the original to find what was our y it was y is equal to x cubed minus 2x uh, minus 4 so with that you are, you are going to have x cubed minus 2x minus 4 now remember we are saying x is equal to 0 so you have now y is equal to 0 cubed minus 2 0 minus 4 therefore y is equal to negative 4 when you've done that you can now write it in um the question was find the coordinates if i can go back it says also determine the points of inflection using the derivative so point of inflection what they're actually saying is the coordinates of the point of inflection so what you do you have to write it in coordinate form to say when x is zero y is negative four so these are the points or the coordinates of inflection so basically that is how you were supposed to solve this question i think it was out of seven marks and you can see actually it was just a simple application of your calculus which i at this point i think you'll be able to follow up in this question and score all the marks i hope this was of benefit to you remember if you want to get more of these videos to press the like button or to subscribe to our channel so that every time we post a video you will be notified of this and i hope it will be handy as you prepare for your final exams we have come to the end of our lesson thank you